I'm not sure everybody knows this. I'm Cuban-American, so I was born in Miami, Florida. But both my parents migrated over from Cuba uh, right around the same time that Castro took over power there. He did some horrible things to the Cubans, took all the land they owned. My parents came over in what they called Peter Pan Flights. Uh, there's been a couple documentaries done about it. There was a church in Miami that was able to send over some flights to Cuba. The parents, they were only able to take so many. So the parents sent over their children and got them out of there. That's how bad the conditions were. And my parents didn't see their parents for a few years after that happened. Their parents, my grandparents, weren't able to come over for a few years after that. It was quite a journey for them, and that's for a lot of Cuban Americans or, or for Cubans that came over to America seeking refuge. They went through quite the journey to get here. They came from a really bad situation, and then they came to the U.S. where you've got a ton of opportunities. Depending on how bad you want it, you can say as many things as you want. The U.S. is where you have the most opportunity to make the best life for yourself. So a lot of the Cubans came from very bad situation into the U.S. where you have the opportunity to make the most of it. And I saw this growing up. A lot of my uncles, my father started his own business. A lot of my family had real estate. I had one uncle that had a, a ton of multifamily apartments. And it, it really opened up my eyes to being a business owner and, and really taking the opportunities that are given to us here in the States and making the most of it. That journey for my parents and for my Cuban heritage really taught me a lot. It taught me things without me even really soaking it all in at the time. But I knew when I was studying to be an electrical engineer, my next path there was to go work for a company. I guess I could have started my own engineering firm, but I knew I wanted to be a business owner. Even though I was studying to get a degree, engineering wasn't really my, my calling. The only reason I had gone down that path is essentially I was really good with numbers. I feel like I owe it to my parents. Went through this journey, my parents, my grandparents, to make sure that my generation was born into more opportunity. I owe it to them to be as successful as I possibly can and to take advantage of these opportunities that were given to me being born here in the United States versus being born in Cuba and having all those restrictions and everything highly motivates me even to this day to continue to grind it out, be as successful as I possibly can.